I am on the way to my hairdressers. Um, traffic is insane. Anyway, um, I'm having a new hairstyle. I sent her a picture. She sent me this response. She's very enthusiastic. Um, my thinking behind it was towards the end of last year, I um, had planned to cut my hair because it's just getting kind of a bit much. I'm not styling it all that much. I was kind of just getting a bit annoyed with it more than anything. It felt like it was getting really tangly. I've got a lot of hair, but it's fine. Um, and so I just kind of thought, I'm gonna have a few inches chopped off. It's gonna look nicer when I do style. It's gonna be easier to dry. Uh, and then I thought, if I'm gonna have a few inches cut off, why not have a little bit of fun with the color? And then worst case scenario, I'm ha having a, a lot chopped off anyway. Um, best case scenario, I might absolutely love it and keep my length. Um, but since I've been so good with colour, I haven't had anything at all done to it until this past summer. It was like six months ago, this hairdresser that I'm going to today um, put some really subtle balayage in it and then just around the front sections and I've loved that and I think we're going to go just more. Um, still not blonde per se, but I like the idea of like a Sarah Jessica Parker style blonde where it's like that a lot of the, the brunette is still there a lot of my base is still there and there's just kind of sections which mean that in different lights it will look blonder or darker um, and it also means that I can play around with like tones and um, fun colors if I want to put like a, a fashion color in temporarily or something so that's the plan I'm on my way hopefully eventually I'll get there the traffic is insane um, I've just been like in random standstill traffic off and on for ages it should take me like 10 minutes to get there and it's taking forever um so i thought i'd do a little intro and then the next time i see you i'll be in the chair okay we're quite a way into this she's going to mix more color that doesn't sound good does it we've already got a lot of oils in my hair <laughs> um, for those of you who are wondering why this is even a thing a lot of people found my channel through hair dye videos because i just used to dye my hair crazy colors all the time myself but also people are like crazy invested in my hair because it all went wrong a few years ago. There's videos on this. Um, and so this is kind of like for the OG followers. Oh my God. There's a lot of foils in my hair. It's making me nervous. Right, we've got a toner on now. So excited to see it. We're going with a kind of caramelly. She's gone a little bit, I mean, we'll see. Um, she said she wants to do a little bit at a time in case in case I change my mind. Um, so it shouldn't be too, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it looks different. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Right, so which part? So that's your, that's your darkest bit, look there. Yeah. And then round here, which is, is a bit weird for underneath bit, you're so much lighter. How weird? I got it in a good angle then, and all the way there. Yeah, How really bizarre, so it's actually it lighter, that's my natural colour, yeah, on the underneath of my underneath hair. Of yeah. That's crazy. So, so it's very subtle, but as she said, she's put on a toner, um, which last time she did this, it came off quite subtle initially, and then as I was washing it, it like brightened up. So what is that, the toner's washing out and then it's just the bleach underneath. Yeah. So all of the, the highlights, it's the, bleh, 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 the highlights that she's put in will brighten up as I wash it, but for now it looks quite, quite subtle, but I like it. It's very nicely blended. Okay. Can you tell a difference? <laughs> I, can, I think, if you see the front sections, overall, I think it's lighter overall. The whole thing seems like brighter. I should have taken before and after pictures, shouldn't I? Also, I can't focus on this, but this smells amazing. Apparently it smells like macaroons. I, I don't get it, but it smells sweet and delicious. Right, she's got out a light ring. This camera is not enjoying focusing today. Oh, can you see there? I think that is kind of picking up. It looks, it's got a real caramelly tone to it now. I love, love. Need to go and put some makeup on now. Okay, it's been a week. I've washed my hair a few times myself. This is now how my hair kind of dries naturally. I thought I would come back um, kind of a few days later and give you kind of an overview. Cannot lie, when I left the salon, I was disappointed. Um, I loved my hair, it looked nice. It's just I was kind of expecting more of a big change. Um, I think, I, I feel like I was ready for a bigger change this time around. And um, 
I was expecting it to be something different. Uh, however, however, with a little bit of hindsight, um, I am glad that she didn't go too far because as she said at the time, it's easier to put more in than take it away. And she does completely understand the value that I put on my hair's health and the fact that most of this is still virgin hair. Most of it is still my natural hair colour. Um, and so I, I am very, very pleased to have a hairdresser that kind of saves me from myself in those moments. Because I do still have that urge to go into the hairdresser and be like, I want to come out looking completely different. Because back in the day, that is what I used to do. I mean, for years, I would go to the hairdresser every six months and I'd be like, right, I want to go back blonde. I want to go back brunette. Whatever I was doing, I would just flip flop all the time. Um, and like I say, it's been a whole journey, even in the 10 years that I've been on YouTube. Just for the past few years, I did some hair damage diaries. It's a playlist if you want to go and check that out. I will try to remember to link it below. Um, but you know, this has been a long time of growing in. So I think she appreciates that and she did the right thing. But at the time I was like, I just, I wanted something new. Uh, whether or not I'll go back in the next few months and go a little bit lighter, I don't know, but I absolutely love it right now. Now that I have washed it a couple of times, I feel like the toner has lifted a little bit. And um, I really like that it still looks like this could be kind of natural-ish. It still really works with um, the tone of my natural hair. Also, just be aware, I've just come home from work. I'm feeling a bit blah. Um, so I haven't put makeup on especially for this. This is my day old makeup. Not, not really feeling uber glam. Um, also, if I flip it to this side, it's a lot blonder. And so I'm kind of digging that as well. This isn't usually the way I part my hair. If I part my hair the other way, it's much darker. The middle, it's somewhere in the middle. And this side is much blonder. And I think that's because I had my hair parted when she was doing it. I didn't think about it at the time. But um, I quite like that it is now that versatile, that depending on where I part it, it will look blonder or darker. Um, and I do like these little sections at the front. Anyway, for those of you that wanted to see how it looked in the end, here we go. I do feel like I, I was gonna say catfished you, kind of a little bit clickbaited you into it, but I also feel like I was a bit catfished because I was expecting it to be a bigger difference than it was. So it's all a journey, folks. Um, and for those of you who have been asking me, because this is one of my most frequently asked questions, what do I do with my hair? I thought we'd just run through the products that I really enjoy using. It's nothing special, but I know it's something that people have asked about and hopefully this will answer those questions. So number one, the shampoo I'm using at the moment is the Bedhead by TG, um, Urban Antidotes. And this is just a really nice smelling shampoo. It's for normal hair that needs a daily pick me up. I don't particularly like shampoos that are for very um, dehydrated or dry hair, I find that they weigh my hair down and they never feel, it never feels totally clean when I use them. Another one that I love, I, I only bought this because it was on offer, I really like it, I would buy it again, um, but one that I absolutely love and I will treat myself to occasionally because it's relatively expensive for, sh for shampoo, is the, um, I've got the dry shampoo of it here, Keep It Clean is what it's called by Lee Stafford. Um, that was sent to me, but I will buy it again. I would just buy the shampoo, not so bothered about the conditioner, because again, it gave me that really, really clean feeling, um, which is always what I'm looking for. So this is nice. I would buy it again, but I bought it was because it was an offer. I'm not like absolutely in love with it. These dogs don't appreciate that I'm filming. Right, while we're still in the bathroom, um, I because I don't really condition my hair, that's the thing. I, very rarely do. Again, because I don't feel like it needs it. It's not particularly dry or damaged and um, I feel like it weighs it down. So very, very occasionally I might put a little bit of conditioner on the ends, but rarely. Um, I have two gloss products, both of which were sent to me, but I use them in totally different ways. Um, I have mentioned one before and that is the Shade Shop Gloss from Josh Wood Colour. This is the Champagne Blonde. I've also used the Chestnut, I think. Um, and maybe the Icy Blonde, I can't remember. Basically, it's a toner, effectively. It's something that is going to refresh your colour. It's not going to add loads and loads of colour, but it can add a little bit of tone. So, um, when I used the chestnut one, I got some kind of red tones in my hair, which just faded out to a really nice warm colour. It all faded out, no problem whatsoever. I didn't have a problem with the blonde underneath. Um, this again is kind of just retoning, it's like refreshing that blonde that she's put on when I left the hairdressers, um, or you can go with the icy one and that's obviously going to cool it down. There's an icy brunette as well, um, I forget what they're all called, but that's basically what they are. They're kind of like a semi-permanent colour, but they add a gloss and you can mix them in with a conditioner if you want to, but you, I use them as is, leave them on my hair for maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, when I rinse them off, it's just like shiny hair for a week or so, two, three maybe weeks. Um, I find that the shine lasts really well. 
Um, if I feel like I, I, I use it probably more for that than I do the colour. But if I feel like my hair's looking a bit dull, I haven't had anything done to it, hasn't had it like cut or whatever for a while, I use that. Uh, it says on the back six washes, so I suppose it depends on how often you wash your hair. I try not to wash my hair all the time, like two, three times a week max. Um, and so yeah, I was using it mostly for the shine and occasionally I would do something like the reddish colour for a bit of fun. And then this was sent to me and I feel like this might overtake it. This is the TG Copyright Custom Care Shine Booster. And this says in the back that you can put it into your conditioner. Now the first time I used this, I didn't know that and I just put it in the palm of my hand and I put it in um, my hair when it was wet and then I blow dried it. And nothing bad happened, but it actually is not a leave-in treatment from what I'm reading on the back. Um, so since then, I keep going back and because there's so much information. I keep going back and going, but is it? Can you leave it in? I don't think that you can. I haven't, you know, who can be bothered to read the whole thing? I like skim read it, but I don't believe that you can. Um, so anyway, because I don't use conditioner very often, what I do instead is I'll pump like six or seven of these-ish palm of my hands while my hair is still wet after shampooing it. I'll just kind of work it through like you would conditioner and I'll leave it in, you know, while I'm shaving my legs or whatever, rinse my hair. And again, it kind of does the same thing as the other one, but it's just the shine. It doesn't last as long. I probably would do that like every other time I wash my hair. Um, and if you find that your hair is kind of lacking radiance, I think this is really, really nice. I like to say, the, ooh, those two were sent to me. Um, okay. And then dry shampoo. Because I only wash my hair two, three times a week, Batiste is the original favourite. I don't actually love the original. It was on offer. Again, are we sensing a pattern? Um, I don't love the original scent at all. My favourite is tropical, if anyone wants to know. Um, but Batiste is just one of the best for me. I don't get along very well with those ones that say that they leave no residue, the invisible ones. I need something with a bit of oomph because I have really oily hair. With that in mind, if you do not think that there is one that will work for you apart from Batiste, let me introduce you to this. Now this is more expensive, this is something that I don't use every day, like for work and stuff, Batiste, get the big one, cheapest, I'll use that. If I've got um, something special, you know, like I'm going out or whatever, then I will use this one, because this is magical. So, and again, I think this is on offer right now. If it is, stock up, because it is awesome. So they do a similar thing, the difference being that somehow the magic of this is, it doesn't even, I don't even think it claims to be invisible. I mean, they probably all do, don't they? I don't know. It says it's a texturizing shampoo spray, which I do not agree at all, but it does say it leaves you with a clean feeling, and that I 100% agree with. Unlike Batiste, which you definitely can feel in your hair, you spray this in, and it's got, you know, still got a bit of a white, something to it, there you go. I'll spray that into my hair and I'll leave it. Sometimes I don't even rub, I was gonna say massage. Sometimes I don't even massage it into my head. Um, I just kind of leave it. And I would say 20 minutes later, it's completely absorbed into my hair and my hair just feels clean. I can't feel any powderiness, no like thickness or texture at all. It's just clean and I still feel like it's got bouncy. I can run my fingers through it. It's magic stuff but it still does a really, really good job of getting rid of all the oil because I do have very oily hair. So the very, very last thing that I wanna talk about, um, because this is brand new to me, it's so ridiculous. I don't like, I'm building this up to be something that it's not, but it's not. This is how I care for my hair when I'm not styling it, when I'm not, when I used to put it up. So I have the bobbles, the invisible bobbles that don't leave a dent in your hair. And every single night, I would twist it up into a tight bun, twirl it round, put the invisible bobble on. In fact, not just at night, like now, get home from work, twist it all up. And my hair would come down with nice and wavy, like lots of volume, I loved it. However, I noticed that I was getting some breakage. So I was never blow drying my hair, never heat styling it, um, very rarely brushing it. And I was getting like, I wonder if I can find you some, like this kind of thing, breakage where it kind of ended around here, just little, Wispy sections, and I'm like, what's going on? No idea, couldn't figure it out, um, because I wasn't straight, there's not, no, just nothing. And this was before I even coloured it at all. So anyway, um, I realised that because of like where it was, it was probably snapping from the tension of where I was twisting my hair up at night. So there I'm thinking, I'm looking after it, it's not kind of being pulled and stuff while I'm sleeping, it's all on top of my head, it felt quite protective. 
Not so. So I still do wear my hair like that occasionally, but nowhere near as often as I used to. And what I do instead is I have these all around the house. I have my favorites. I think this is my favorite actually. I don't know. I feel like this could be a goodie one. I think I got it from Tesco. So I just take the top section of my hair, the very, very top section. And again, this does a similar thing that the twisting did because it still gives me loads of volume. And I will do that. It's not cute. No one ever said it was. And I will do that. And what this does is number one, keep my hair off my face, which is what I'm looking for. If I was gonna, I could still twist it up, you know, do the whole thing, all of my hair up. But I'm just saying this is what I do, nightly. Twist the very, very first section up with that in there. This does two things. Number one, volume. Number two, I don't feel like there's any tension. I don't feel like there's any, gonna be any breakage. It's also getting it off my face, which keeps it away from any of my skincare. So it's not getting all of the moisturizer and stuff on, but also it's not getting like, you know, sweat and griminess that your face gets rid of in the nighttime. So when you wake up, sometimes your hair is oilier than it was the night before. Sometimes it just will be, but sometimes it's just because you're a bit sweaty. You know, night times. And I find that when I do this with my hair, it does exactly the same thing as when I was putting it up in a bubble and it just keeps it all off my face. Then when I put it down, loads of volume. And this is my new favorite thing. And so that's why I've got them all over the house because I can't have my hair on my face. It drives me insane. As soon as I finish filming this video, I'm gonna be like, hair's going up. Um, but they're the things I wanted to share for those of you who have been asking. I really don't do anything special to it. Otherwise, I um, blow dry it with a paddle brush once a week now because I felt like that, well, I was wearing it down more if I did that. And I felt like the trade-off of sometimes styling it versus um, keeping it up all the time and it breaking, it is what it is. Um, and I am on the verge of maybe cutting it. I don't know. This was part of it. I thought what I'll do before I cut it is I'll colour it. And then worst case scenario, I'll have a few inches off and um, my hair won't be, you know, I'll be cutting out a lot of colour. Now we went a lot higher up with the colour than I expected. So, okay. But um, that may be next on the cards. Um, so yeah, I hope that those of you who have been following this journey are interested in this update. The rest of you might be like, why did we even need to know that? Hopefully for those of you uh, who don't understand why, <laughs> the rest of the video might have been useful with some um, suggestions for products that I use. Uh, but otherwise, stay tuned, there's gonna be other content that's nothing to do with my hair very, very soon.